Hello world of YouTube and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is going to replace Castlevania 64 and is the next People's Choice LP. As you can see, it is Advance Wars. Now, I already went ahead and deleted my... Sorry for the booming in the mic, by the way. Uh, I'm trying to get comfy. I should comfy before I started recording. But I deleted my save file on this game, which was... 100% completed, or not 100%, but I got all, all the characters unlocked and stuff. I wouldn't say it was 100%ed, but uh, I bought all the stuff from the shop. I did the story already, but because I love ya, I deleted it all. So let's start off Advance Wars. Welcome to Advance Wars! Please enter your name. Alright, well, my name, Nell, it is Rack. Is this correct? It's nice to meet you, Rack. I'm Nell. I'm a CO in the Orange Star Army. Is this your first time playing? Now, I would say yes, but it takes you to a tutorial, and I'm just gonna show you how to play the game. I mean, I know I'm kind of taken away from like the full immersive experience, I guess, but I, I already know how to play. Oh, I see. In Advance Wars, I give gameplay and strategy, advice and field training. This includes explanations of all the game rules, too. If you really don't want to, I can teach you a way to pass through field training quickly, but do you want to work your way through field training? Uh, should I? Should I show you field training? Just to kind of give you the basics? Yeah, we'll do tutorial land. I think that's for the best. You can get to field training from the mode select menu. Also on the mode select menu is versus mode, a multiplayer mode for single Game Boy Advance. Plus, there's a link mode, a multiplayer mode for multiple game systems. Next is field training. Please enter and complete the missions in order from top to bottom. The first lesson is on troop orders. Good luck! <clears throat> Alright, so... Uh, I feel like giving Tutorial Land a bit of a chance because I haven't played this game in a, in a while. Um, I literally am just booting it up. Uh, I haven't done any practice runs, and I'm going to be playing through it. So, okay, basic troop movement and attack controls are explained here. The mission focuses on defense, capturing bases. Okay, never mind. This is uh, all stuff that I know very well. So let's just go straight into... I I can't. All right, fine. And blah, 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 blah. We have to fight all the bad guys. This is telling you that there's a bunch of stuff. There. Okay, mission one, troop orders. Oh, this is a bad idea. This is a horrible idea. Day one, the alarms, blah, 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 blah. I know, these are my guys, those are the blue guys. That's the cursor, and we move it with the pad. We have to pick the unit and move it over. Okay, does. I don't follow instructions well, Nell. That's not the troop I want to move, Nell. Yeah, I'm gonna move it to that square, Nell. And yeah, wait. <clears throat> now, this game is a strategy RPG, or strat not RPG, it's a strategy game. Uh, it's like a RTS, almost. In fact, I'd say it's, it's a, good, a good first RTS. Um, you end up, uh, where's the start button? Nope, that's not what I want. I want the start button, or the A button. Um, and I love this game. I've had it for a long, long time, and I've played it, you know, countless times. And I'm excited to give it to you. Uh, this is actually what I didn't know about this game when I was researching this game is that it is a uh, it is a long lineage with a surmountable amount of wars games dating all the way back to the NES back in uh, back in Japan. Now I do not believe we got any of those games over here in the states, and this is the first, in fact, game in the wars franchise that we got. So. It's kind of weird. It's kind of like Fire Emblem, because Fire Emblem was along the same lines. We had um, gotten Fire Emblem in the GBA days, but we had they have been around since the, really, the I think the Super Nintendo days. So, yeah, it's, it's just interesting uh, as to what really um, happened, like how, how this kind of came to be. And I kind of wish that we got the other games here in America. <clears throat> I'd like to see the, um, the other... No, the other thingy bobbers wars games here in America, but we sadly did not get them. Uh, I wish I did not pick this, but I guess it's been giving me a chance to kind of explain the game itself, how it operates. 
Uh, I'll basically be talking for now. We just have to move... Uh, the point of the game is to move enemies or your troops to the enemy base and capture the base or destroy all the enemies. There's various different types of missions and stuff that you have to do and kind of manage your troops and stuff. There's a, there's a mini economy that you get in some modes where you're just kind of building stock uh, so that you can buy more troops or build more cars. And it's, it's there's a lot of strategy to this game. And uh, I'm hoping I don't suck tremendously since I'll be trying to compensate at the same time of thinking of stuff to say. I won! Cool. I got... Alright, cool. I got an A rank. Yay. Sure. That'll be cool. Alright. Time to do terrain. Terrain intel. I love that riff, man. That riff is awesome. It's straight and sounds straight from the Genesis days. Ten, and they have a mech deployed. Uh, the mech units are different types of infantry units that are. Uh, oh shit! Sorry, I don't listen to you now. I don't. I know what. To, to, to fucking shoot this dude. That's you're playing the game. I made a poor decision at the beginning of this let's play. I don't know why. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this guy. I'm gonna, uh, yeah. I. I know. There's mountains. I get the higher ground. They'll probably do less damage to me. Uh, fire on your face. A big disgrace. Kicking your ass all over the place. Saying, I will kick your ass. Oh, Loft Man. Alright, so, yeah, I know. He took less damage because he's on the, the mountains and they have more defense to them. I'm gonna do the same. Fire on your face. Look at Nell's happy face over there. And Olaf just looks so disappointed. Now, I actually thought about doing a Let's Compete of this game way back when I started the Let's Competes. Uh, but that didn't happen. It might happen by the end of the Let's Play. Uh, I'll have all the stuff unlocked again. And we'll uh, I'll do some Let's Competes of this game with some peeps. Because you can pass around the controller and just kind of strategize. It's fun. It's a fun game to play with people. Yeah, Sponge, blah, 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 blah. I do not care. Take your turn, Olaf. He's gonna shoot at my guys, and he did a lot of damage. What you got now, Olaf? Get your mech guys out. See, they only shoot their bazookas if um if they're shooting cars, but they do do more damage than typical mechs, as you or typical infantry, as you can see. All right, day two. It's my turn. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, I know. I'm not stupid. Ah, oh, thank you for just letting me do what I want to do. You can do this. She didn't explain that. You can join units together to uh, kick ass and stuff. Uh, I'll explain the screen. Uh, when I get up to it again. So, this guy's gonna shoot that guy. Fire. The damage is how much it'll do. Or, um, how much... It'll do 25% damage, but there's also... A, like percentage of how much it'll hit and pretty much the damage of the percentage are kind of the same whoops uh, so yeah they, they kind of lumped that together the little fuel icon down there is how many more steps you can take before you are tired or immobile or out of gas the bullets are how much ammo you have and the health is how much health you have the hardest how much health you have you have to manage micromanage all three of those with each of your sets of units as you play it's pretty complicated uh, but I loved playing this game as a kid uh, I love, like I said in the uh, Genesis list, I love RTSs, so I'm excited to play this with you guys, or for you guys, with, I don't know, um, so let's, let's finish this sucker, oh, he's gonna, wait, nope, forest, he'll have a less chance of hitting me, because I'm in the forest, see, you gotta think with your brain, think smart, don't be a dumbass. And you can also save between every turn. If you're like in the middle of a battle and you have to go, you can save it. Oh, one more thing. And if at any point in the battle you stop, there's no. See? Oh, wait. Yeah, see? See? Uh, no, I'm gonna finish kicking the lost ass. Fire! 
And he's gonna die. I'm gonna shoot him in the face. And they round up percentages, by the way. So if you have like 26, if you're gonna do 26% damage, um, you it'll take out like it rounds up. It'll do 30. Boop, you're dead. Moth is so sad. And I won again. Look at that. I've done it. That's how you play the game. Victory. Victory is Rax. I better get an A. I got an A rank. Yay. This is terrible. Yes. Yeah, oh, I hit no. Whatever. Base capture. This is a big part of the game. Mission three. Base capture. I could have explained all this in the first level, and I feel like a dumbass for not doing that. All right, uh, you see they got tanks. Oh no, that's so terrible. Yes, I'm gonna take this guy. Nope, I'm gonna take this guy. Move him to the city. Yes, you can capture. Full troops do 10% damage. You can only capture with mech units and infantry units. Uh, the cities give you more um, income to come into your towns. Uh, these are your HQs. We'll get into building stuff a little later. Um, obviously I can't capture it right there because I'm, uh, not capturing. Like, I'm not in within the vicinity to capture, so. Let's do some moving around. Nope. There. And then move you there. And then end my turn. Do your worst, Olaf. I do not care what you have to say because you're AI. My turn. Cool. Finish capturing this thing. I love that noise. It's so satisfying. City is mine. Gray is neutral. She just said whatever color isn't gray is not neutral. That's not yours or gray is not neutral. And whatever's gray is neutral. And obviously whatever is yours is yours. I'm going to do this one. Nope. Shit. I'm going to do this one. Boom. Now there's some... Don't get into this later. Uh, yeah, it's the crap. I know. I'm not stupid. Let me just. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh god, no. You are giving me a headache. Headache. Wait. wait. You can probably go. Yep, you can. Oh, but you can go there too. Wait, no. You can go there. Capture. Jump. You are gonna be there. Yeah. That's like which brain juice, guys. And then you're just gonna move forward. And, and then he's gonna get supplied from the cities. The cities also give you supply. I should have mentioned that. Uh, so that one got supply. He got more ammo and more fuel. There. Oh, I'm right there, sure. And then you are going to go right there. And then we're going to end the turn. Duh. Alright, so. Finish capturing. No, capture. You can fire or capture. And obviously, I don't want to fire. Uh, that's a dumb idea, guys. Think smart. Let's fight on the mountains. Mountains against mountains, sucker, what you got? Those guys are regretting their decision. Wait, how are they? They're on the mountains. Oh, no, those guys are in the Greenlands. Okay. Dope. I'm going to finish your ass off. Yeah. Not that stupid. Huh. Huh. I killed your guy. Right, now let's move there. And fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to be dumb for a second. Shoot this dude. Now, at the beginning of next episode, I'll be finishing off the training. Because I do not want to put you guys through a bunch of episodes of me going through training. Because this was a bad idea, and I did not think it through. And hopefully you guys realize that. Because, Jesus, this has been hard to sit through. Uh, at least for me. Maybe not for you guys. Maybe it's more interesting for you guys, but I'll explain the rest of the mechanics when we get to them. Fuck those tanks. Ooh. Now looks sad. Alright, so let's 
place in here. Fire upon the tanks. And that's what that looks like. Boosh! Blew up your tanks, son. And then I'm gonna fuck that. I'm gonna fire upon you. Kick your ass. I only got two guys left, though. Oh, you killed him. Best blade. Okay, so. Oh, blada blau. You're gonna lose two of your guys. You have three left. You do nothing to me. I got golden defense. Alright, so let's do some more damage to these guys. And then, yeah, they got one guy left. And who else I got to worry about? This schmalter. This schmalter right here. Fuck you, bro. This basically was to introduce the basic mechanics that will be expanded upon throughout the rest of the game. Because basically it's capturing... The only thing it didn't show is buying units, but it's capturing unit or capturing bases, uh, moving units, and destroying motherfuckers. You will not destroy my base. Fuck you. And fucking... BAM! That was a dumb idea. That was stupid of you, Olaf. Oh, damn it. They're almost out of ammo. Oh, damn. Oh, jeez. Alright, so let's backpedal a bit. Kick the crap out of this guy. What did you get for capturing my city, dipwad? Now, if they don't fire back, you know you're gonna kill them all. But if they fire back, you know some of them are gonna survive. That's a little tip for you. A little tip from the Raxter. Raxter doing his thing. He's gonna blow you the fuck up with his rockets! Bajoosh! I'm excited to play through this game, guys. Because I love me some advanced schmars. Advanced s'mores. Boosh. Blagabaloosh. Also, when you, you saw that that guy only captured five from my base, that is because you capture at the rate that you have. Like, if you have six guys, you'll capture six. If you have or six health, you'll capture six. If you capture, if you have full ten, you'll take ten. It's man. You're gonna kill those dudes. Fuck you. I'm using those. You dickwad. Don't you dare move you out of tanks. So you, I'm gonna be my tank killer. Tank killer, tank tank killer. Grill the villa, scoop scoop the chiller. Blah blah blah. blah. I'm gonna move this way. Pay no attention to the red guy moving at a fast pace across the land. Same goes for this one. Oh, and this may be a longer first episode. And these, these may be longer episodes, by the way, just because I want to try to ease through this game at a decent pace. And I don't remember how long the game is, so... I just realized, they have no way to get to their base, so if I get in there, they gonna be fucked. Fire. Oh, I'm out of rockets. Oh, jeez. That's bad. Move down, and that's my turn. This first episode is going to be kind of longer, because I want to get through this tutorial crap. So, move this dude through there. Move this dude through there. Then, blow you the fuck up! I'm only going to do 1% damage. So they did nothing to me, so that's what matters. And I had less defense. So that's what I call luck, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to get it before 20. And I think I can get it before 20. Oh, you kill my guys. I don't care. Those tanks were like sweeping in. They were like... Ooh. Yeah, you got nothing on me now, son. Now, bases... Oh, no. You capture those the same. I don't know what I was thinking. If you capture a base, it does not matter what else is left. Like, if they have building stuff, it doesn't matter. You get them all if you capture the base. As exhibited like so. Outstanding. Blah, 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 blah. Unbelievable! I'll do the voices when we get past this tutorial crap. Because there's an actual story. My technique was good. Screw you. But anyway, that's going to conclude this first episode of Advance Wars. Come back next week when we'll actually start the story. Hopefully you guys are excited for this Let's Play. Hopefully if you voted for it, you're excited for it. And if not, you're still excited for it. But I'm going to get out of here. I've been Fire Rack. You guys are going to get situations. I'll see you next week.